The matchup between the Alaska Aces and Rain or Shine Elasto Painters featured two teams that picked first-time PBA imports to help them out in their campaigns. In the end, the regional experience of Reggie Johnson, aided by the outside shooting of the Rain or Shine locals, was enough to trump the youth and talent of Antonio Campbell as the Elasto Painters scored a 109-103 overtime win in their first game of the 2018 Honda PBA Commissioner's Cup. Chris Panchero hit an unbelievable three-point shot at the end of regulation to send the contest into an extra period, but the Aces only delayed the inevitable. Bo Belga, Chris Dew, and Johnson scored crucial baskets for the Painters. It was Belga who sank the dagger for the Painters with a three-point shot with only 32 seconds left which gave them a 104-98 lead. The Aces mounted one last try to turn the ball game around after Campbell made his eighth three-point shot of the game, but Maverick and Missy sealed the win with a steal and a fast break layup. It's a good start for this conference, but we have to fix our lapses, said Raz head coach Caloy Garcia after their hard-earned win. It looks like they have enough raw materials to be a legitimate contender this conference, but they still have a lot of work to do to get there. On top of the list for Garcia was taking care of the ball as the Painters had 27 turnovers in the game, which almost cost them the win. Before overtime, I got mad at them. I told them it was already a one game, the coach added, as he met the win not with a smile, but with a sigh of relief. Johnson had an outstanding PBA debut with 32 points and 22 rebounds, but the win would not have been possible without his locals. Christie added 18 points for Rain or Shine, while Ahan Missy and Raymond Almazan chipped in 11 apiece. Belga finished with nine points, only although he scored most of these in the crucial stages of the game. Johnson proved to be a big surprise for Rain or Shine as the wide-bodied import put on a show in the first half. He sank the first shot he took, which was a three-point shot and a sign of things to come. The former ASEAN Basketball League World Import MVP dropped 20 points and 10 rebounds in the first half including a layup at the 408 mark of the second quarter to give the Painters their biggest lead of the game at 13, 41-28. Campbell tried to start a rally for the Aces in the third quarter, where he scored 13 points, but their offense still refused to click. With Rain or Shine getting contributions from their locals, including debuting rookie J.K. Casino, the Painters stayed ahead. A dunk from Raymond Almazan followed by a layup from Chris Yu gave Rain or Shine another taste of a double-digit lead, 69-58, late in the third. This lead went up to 13 points once again early in the fourth for the Painters thanks to a hot start from James Yap and Maverick and Missy, but this finally woke up Alaska's erstwhile stagnant offense. Kevin Rackle scored seven points in rapid succession which was followed by a triple from Jvi Casio with 6.56 left in the game to give the Aces the lead, 79-78. Alaska was led by their import who also had an outstanding PBA debut with 40 points and 20 rebounds. Abueva and Vic Manuel were the only Alaska locals to score in double digits with 19 and 12, respectively. With their import slowing down after an impressive first half, the Alasto Painter locals tried to close out the show in the final period. Twin triples from Belgo and Dew turned a two-point disadvantage into an 88-84 lead with 2.39 left in the game. However, Campbell tried his very best to make a good impression on his PBA debut. 
playing for the first time on the international stage, Campbell showed he was willing to take the big shots, even if he's one of the youngest players in the league. He nailed a crucial three that inched them within one, and then he got the lead for the Aces, 91-90, in their next possession with a floater. The Painters then retook control of the game with back-to-back -back makes from Johnson and Ahan Missy, but Banchero nailed a triple to send the game into overtime with the score tight at 94-all. The scores. Rain or Shine 109 Johnson 32, Pew 18, Almazan 11, Ahan Missy 11, Yap 10, Belga 9, Dakwiog 6, Ponferrada 5, Norwood 4, Casino 3, Washington 0. Alaska 103 Campbell 40, Abueva 19, Manuel 12, Casio 8, Manuel 8, Rackle 7, Banchero 3, Tang 2, Baclau 2, Inciso, Eximiniano 0. Quarters 23 16, 45 39, 69 61, 94 94, 109 Extra dribbles. Both Alaska and Rain or Shine are hoping to be successful in the conference, where they last won a PBA title. Campbell was referred to the Alaska Aces by none other than six time PBA champion Sean Chambers. The legendary import thinks that the young Campbell can be the new resident import of the Aces. He was the 2016 Mid-American Conference Player of the Year. Some notable names who won this award are Ron Harper, Bonzi Wells, Wally Serbiak, Chris Kamen, and another former Alaska import Romeo Travis. The rookie casino, a product of the Sioux Scorpions, gave a good account of himself with three points, three rebounds, and two steals. Next games. Alaska, April 29 versus Blackwater Elite at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Rain or Shine, April 29 versus Barangay Ginebra at the Smart Araneta Coliseum.